Okay, this is the first of my 101 series, um, chest 101. Obviously, um, in time, I'll do biceps 101, shoulders 101, back 101, legs 101, etc. Um, and we're going to start with creating a split in the upper part of the pectoral. Um, so, obviously, this advice is for advanced bodybuilders. And by advanced bodybuilders, I don't mean pro bodybuilders, of course. I mean bodybuilders who have accrued... Um, a reasonable and decent amount of mass. So you're going around um, and you've put on a decent amount of muscle. Um, say you've built up your chest, it's big, but now it's time um, to really put detail in it and uh, to really shape it and to change it and to make it um, optically um, appear huge. And that's something that's a lot of people overlook is that bodybuilding um, is sculpture and it's um, symmetry and it's illusion you know and there's many aspects that enhance a physique um, and the kind of rush and race for sheer size these days produces massive physiques when you look at them and see them in, in person but in, on, in uh, video or in photography um, they're not that impressive actually um, for instance the waist um, is one of the most absolutely important aspects of a physique, symmetrically speaking. And um, you have these bodybuilders today, we all know the trend, with gigantic waists, which absolutely destroy all the symmetry, um, which uh, creates the illusion and the optics of size. But let's talk about creating a, a split. And as you can see, my upper split um, here is quite deep, not quite as deep here. Um, the footage is from different time periods, of course, different diets, um, all kinds of things. And here, in fact, um, there are two splits. Um, <laughs> uh, in some of the footage I managed to develop for a while, a split in the upper and lower pec, um, uh, as you can see there in that footage. Um, now, how you do this, but let's talk about the upper part okay because I didn't have a genetic inclination for a split and I've got old footage that I could show um, there's no split when I used to uh, uh, flex my chest basically and what I did and um, why I've drawn this out a bit so you can see this footage here because it's part of developing this type of chest which I call an old-school chest um, from the old school of bodybuilding um, the kind of chest that bounces off the bone and has a nice big split um, and it's massive, basically, and optically very impressive. Um, how you develop it, the byword, the holy grail um, to pursue is incline, incline, incline. That is your new byword. Um, in order to build um, an impressive chest, an old school chest with a massive deep split in the upper pectoral you have to place emphasis on incline benching. And by that, I don't mean you go to the gym and you include incline in your benching like any other bodybuilder does when he's doing his chest. You place emphasis in the sense that you come into the gym on chest day and the first thing you do is incline. And you put all your energy, um, basically, the max you max out on your incline bench that's the one you really go hell for leather with and then once you're finished with that once you've maxed out once you've done your incline benching uh, which is done on a standard bench not with dumbbells um, then you go and you do your flat and your decline and your flies and your cable crossovers and all that other stuff but the main thing of importance is incline benching um, and this is how Arnold and uh, f um, what's his name, Reg Park, um, and some of those very old school bodybuilders built such incredible chests back in the day, basically. These chests that kind of bounce off the top of the rib cage. Um, basically, they placed emphasis on incline benching. Of course, there's other things to do. Since this is chest 101 that I would recommend, and uh, one of them is slightly overlooked by um, chest builders, and it's dips, um, weighted dips. 
you should always be doing weighted dips. That's one of the main mega uh, chess developers, you know, and a lot of people neglect it. So here's my chest 101 for advanced bodybuilders. If you've got the mass now, this is what you need to start doing. Place emphasis. Number one, place emphasis on incline benching. Okay, then make sure you include um, weighted dips um, in your routine. And um, of course, you can do flat benching and you can do decline benching and indeed must. Make sure you include your, your flat bench and decline. In fact, the three variations, incline, decline and flat are the most important for building a chest and you should always include them, you know, and the flies and the dumbbell pullovers uh, are to, an ex uh, to a less extent less important. Um, sorry, at the end here I've just included some old footage, um, some old photographs, sorry, um, to show that I didn't really have any outstanding genetic potential. Um, this is me uh, when I started out bodybuilding a couple of years, you know, I think about 19 or 20 here, you know, and uh, I was tall, lanky, uh, six foot four. Anyone at six foot four knows it's incredibly difficult um, to put proportional mass um, on a frame that tall. Um, but I persevered, and I had this uh, always a vision in my mind. Um, of course, in that uh, vision, I'm not uh, ashamed to say it. My idol, of course, in bodybuilding is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Always looking at Arnold. I want to be like Arnold, you know. Um, and millions of bodybuilders. Uh, the reason I'm not ashamed to say it is millions of bodybuilders. Um, say to himself at some point, man, look at Arnold, I'd like to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, but I just said it to myself more than others. So, um, as you can see, there's not that much genetic potential um, here. I admit I've been called, even now, by some people, um, just uh, another gym rat, but um, in these photos, I really was just another gym rat. Well, actually, I wasn't, because I used to train uh, like a someone who was insane. Uh, I've always been very strong. Um, and I used to train very heavy regardless of my size. Um, and here's a, f a final comparison. As you can see from my side chest, I had the vision, but uh, genetically it's quite a small chest. It's not very long. Um, genetically it's not a long chest. It's quite high. And uh, that's the transformation that I made. And believe me, um, that is no easy accomplishment. Um, so uh, remember, incline, incline, incline. That is your new byword for advanced bodybuilders. Take care and good luck with your training.